Alright, uh, what's up YouTube? Reese here from Steve Manga to review One Piece chapter 698. Don Flamingo arrives. So yeah, um, straight from last week, you know what I mean? Don's answer is, you know, neither basically. He's thinking, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go kill Law. Exactly what I thought he'd do, you know? So like, seriously, if you if you hit by his ultimatum, you're just like, what? Why am I even listening to you? I'll just come and kill you. You know? Um, so yeah, he basically rushes straight to Punk Hazard and surprise, surprise, Law ain't even there. Of course he wouldn't be there. Why would he be there? How stupid can you be? That like, you know, it just proves that how that just kind of just proves that like, literally just how much this has pissed him off because he's not even thinking straight. Because like seriously, if Law is gonna give you that, why would he still be on that island when he knows you're quite close to it? You know, who'd be long gone? So anyway, um, yeah, Don Flamingo arrives on the island. Law's gone, but guess who's still there? The G Five and the Marie, the G Five. They're still just sitting there, you know, just like sorting everything out. You know, just like doing all the finalization. And you know what's weird? This is one thing I didn't actually know. Don Flamingo has Conqueror's Hacky. I didn't actually know he had Conqueror's Hacky. So I would have thought that obviously he had some sort of Hacky, yeah, but Conqueror's? Rah. That's the strongest one, you know? I didn't think he'd have that. Yeah, so anyway, he goes on a little rampage, cutting everyone up with his little puppet string slicing Devil Fruit ability, which I think is a Devil Fruit ability, but you know, it's never been said, but obviously it could have to be a Devil Fruit ability, you know? So anyway, yeah, he ends up slicing up everyone, gets the smoke on, smoke was just like, you know, yo, you're here, and he's like, yeah, we know everything about you, you know, all this about Virgo and all this crap and everything, and then, obviously, the idiot said way too much. It's like, seriously, what is with him? Why is he thinking that? What's going through his head? It's like, you have this guy who's obviously been Joker, you know, who no one really knew his Joker, but they found out he's Joker, all pissed off at everyone, and he's there just like, yep, I know who you are, I know your big plan. He just gets slight basically smoker. I don't you don't actually see what happens to him, but you just see a big slice, his cigars cut in two, blood flying everywhere, so hell what the hell. Effed up basically. He's gone. Bye bye. Anyway, again we then get a nice little cut over to Straw Hats. Um see Kinema and Monosuke still on a ship with him, which is kinda like, you know, ah, huh, they're still on a ship with him. Would have thought they'd go off, but no. They didn't, because basically the Straw Hats and Lord, their next destination is the Zora. Luffy and his crew obviously carry on the mission, whatever the hell their mission is, you know, to kind of get to, what's his name? Kaido? Yeah, they're trying to get to Kaido. And then you have Kenemon, basically his mission now is go to the Zora to kind of like free his friend. Which is pretty cool, you know, but I'm wondering now, what's going to happen with Kenemon after he frees his friend? Is he going to join the Straw Hats or is his friend going to join the Straw Hats, you know, I don't know. So like maybe Kenemon joins him just so he can kind of like get Monosuke, so I find like a cure to the... You know, the sad um, devil fruits, you know, because obviously Monosuke ate one, became a dragon, so maybe he's going to look for that whole a cure to try to, like, you know, bring them back because they're not proper devil fruits, you know, they're fake, so they might have a cure. So it's either him going to join, it's either Kanemon joining a crew or it's going to be maybe the friend, you know, we don't know what's going you don't know who this friend is, it's a new person, so maybe they'll join, you know, because either way, Luffy's crew, they need a new crew member. You know, it's like, literally, if you think about it, like, every arc, they usually pick up a new person. And last arc, it would have been Jinbei, but Jinbei is obviously going to come along later, probably. So, you know, this arc, it still ain't got anyone yet, you know? So, anyway, the uh, final part of this chapter is basically, you know, you see Don Flamingo, like, crouching over just a mashed-up smoker, basically. You know, blood all everywhere. It looks like he's, gonna, it looks like he's ready to fight, finish him off. Then, guess who stops him? It's like, seriously, this one made me smile, you know? It's like, it was kind of obvious who it was going to be, but it still made me smile, you know? Akoji turns up just like, yeah, don't hurt my friend. Which is like, yes, Akoji's here, and I knew it would be Akoji because basically, you remember that silhouette you saw a couple chapters ago? It was so obvious it was him, you know? Someone who's near Punk Hazard, they mentioned him before the beginning of this arc, and just the sole fact that every time you see Akoji, he's always like doing something across the water, you know, using his eyes to freeze the water and just like even cycling across, walking across, whatever. So yeah, um, awesome. And hell, man, I don't know what the hell, Don, what the hell's gonna happen next week. But Don Flamingo, he might, he needs to run off, you know, because Akoji is freaking disgusting, you know. Seriously, him and oh god, I can never remember the magma guy's name. But anyway, obviously them two had their big fight to see who would become the next, you know, chief admiral guy. So yeah, Don Flamingo, run away and you know decide on your ultimate and what you're gonna do, because you're kind of. You know, you're kind of fudged if you're going to sit there and try to fight Akoji because he'll just like, annihilate you in a second. So anyway, um, yeah, this week, like I was saying, good chapter. Very good chapter this week, you know, so like, One Piece is starting to pick up again finally. 
which makes him really happy. I can't wait to see what's going to happen in this new arc. So this week I'm giving this week's chapter a, yeah, 8 out of 10. Can't wait to see what happens next week if this is going to be like a continuation of this arc, like the better half of it, or if it's a brand new arc. Either way, I'm interested in seeing what's going to happen next. You know, so there you have it guys. I'm giving this week's chapter an 8 out of 10, but that's my opinion. You know, what's yours? Do the usual. Comment below. Give it a little thumbs up if you enjoy it. It really helps. And don't forget to subscribe to see Manga for more. So I'll see you next time.